We're ready to go. Hope you enjoyed our Kirkus Furniture Countdown to Face Off, and we are underway with our first period brought to you by Copper Country Ford at Houghton, home of the real deal. Huskies get it in deep, and we'll go after it now. Miss the axe line starting out there. Loose puck out to center ice. And the Huskies able to pick it up in period. Back to the point. A hard shot. That one went wide. Jerusik was screened heavily, but it went wide by quite a bit. And back up this, to the top for Kalanick. Kalanick fires it back over. Top of the circle. Shot and he scores! <laughs> Malone took the shot. Heavy screen in front of Jerusik. I don't think he saw it. And the Huskies pay for the penalty. Jurian. Smith walking in. Holds on. Holds on. Back over for Lucini. Lucini trying to find a seam. Here's Smith. Takes the shot. Down low. A shot and a big save made there by Barry. Gould had an open. He's and they'll start it back. Need to get two guys on the puck. They do. Control it back to the point now. Swoyer will slide it over. Back up top again. Donahue for Swoyer. Donahue over. Shot scores! Nice tic tac toe play by the Huskies. Bliss with the goal. And he pounds it home. And that will be his first goal as a Husky. A pretty one on the power play. Emerson will come out of the box. Emerson, rather. And then we have a tie hockey game. 1-1. 14-15 remaining here in the first period. Power play goal for Michigan Tech. Wide open net. Perfect one-timer by Bliss. He didn't miss it. And the Huskies have tied it up. One three, that is Keegan Ford. And a shot for the point. This one saved. Rebound. Scores! And banging it home for the Huskies. Perrettino, his first goal is a Michigan Tech hockey player. And Michigan Tech with a two to one lead on another power play goal. Well, the Huskies kept banging at it and Perotino got the rebound off of a nice save by Jack Berry. It ricocheted right back out to him. He didn't waste any time and Berry actually almost got over there for the outstanding stop, but just couldn't get there in time. Goats takes the shot from the point. That one was the stop by Berry and putting it home was Peratito for his first goal. The Rochester face off. Keegan Ford will push it across the line. Here's a pass over. Here's a shot, scores! Another goal! Bretzman and the Huskies making a 3-1 lead. Bretzman fired it from the left dot and beat Barry clean on an even strength goal and the Huskies lead it 3-1. Impressive pass over. Bretzman, the left-handed shot, went glove side, it looks like. And that might have bounced it to the top of the circle, and the Huskies will hold it in. Back over now for Smith. Shot blocked in front. That one hit a skate. Kalanick hurting on that one. Loose puck in front. Another chance for the Huskies. Open net, and they score! Kevin Gould put it in the empty net with the second opportunity for the Huskies, and they go up 4-1 to one on another power play goal, their third of the game. Well, just relentless for the Huskies. It wasn't a pretty power play goal, but the Badgers just could not get control of it. And the Huskies diving all over the place. Great chance for Jackson, a nice save by Barry. And then Gould was the only one not tied up with anybody, was able to slip through the crowd like a running back going through the hole at the offensive line, and he found the loose puck, and even though a defenseman was diving for it, Tischke couldn't get there in time, and Huskies go up by three. To the front of the goal, did not get there. Another chance for the Badgers back at the point. Kalanick with a shot. This one wide of the net. Almost went off of the goaltender and in. Watch out, Jerusalem didn't know where it was. Back to the point, shot, save, score! Oh, it's just a matter of time, and the Huskies could not get off the ice after that icing call. Right back in this game, four to two. Just delays now. Gavin Gould with it. Hands it off there for Lucini. Back up top now. Donahue steps up. Lucini will kick it to his forehand. Passed over. Scores! Jackson gets the goal. A power play goal for Michigan Tech. And they're back up by three, five to two, with 6.26 left to go in the third period. Their fourth power play goal of the game. Just no press by the Huskies. 
taking their time, waiting for the opportunity, didn't pressure it in, didn't force it in, and actually went off of Jackson and then off of the defense, I believe, of uh, Emerson and in his own goal. Jackson gets his first of the season. Huskies want to keep it going here, still on the power play with the major penalty against Doogie. Pass to the front, scored again, right there, and it's Pressman with his second goal of the game. Tipped in front on a quick pass, and the Huskies are blowing this open now, six to two on their fifth power play goal of the game. Pass in front from the side, Came from the Huskies, Brian Hallen, and he just slapped it to the front of the goal, and Bretzman put his stick down, driving to the crease, tapped it in. And it doesn't get any prettier than that. Huskies with their 31st shot on goal. And still two Big Ten wins for WCHA teams tonight as Bowling Green and Michigan Tech beat Big Ten teams tonight. A convincing win here tonight for the Huskies with five power play goals. They went 6-2. to two. We'll be back with our post-game show brought to you by Moyle Concrete and Building Supply. Our third period has been brought to you by the Turbo Agency.